Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I will show you a really simple and easy way to find the solution of these given system of equations by just doing one simple thing. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. And here is our very first example. And we are going to check certain patterns in this system of equation. And here I have highlighted these numbers in the red. Over here you can see we have the coefficient of x variables on this side and the red numbers on this side as well. And here's the pattern we're going to be looking at we are going to cross multiply this way first so negative 1 times 30 is going to be negative 30 on this side and if we cross multiply the other way around we are going to get 3 times negative 10 is negative 30 as well as long as these two numbers are same then we are going to have y equal to zero value all the time, always. So once we figured out y equal to zero value, we can plug it in in any of these equations to get the x value. So let's put it our y equal to zero value in this second equation. Here y equal to, I put it y equal to zero, that means this whole term is going to become 0. That means this term is going to give us 3x minus this thing becomes 0 equal to 30. That means 3x equal to 30. You divide both sides by 3. So that means our x value turns out to be simply 10. So thus x equal to 10 and y equal to 0 is solution to our this given system of equation. And here is our next example and we're going to spot some pattern in this system of equations. And here I have highlighted the numbers with the red. Over here, as you can see, we have a positive 12 and positive 24 as coefficient of y and negative 1 and negative 2 on this side. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. This negative 2 times positive 12 is going to give us negative 24. And if we multiply the other way around, positive 24 times negative 1 is going to give us negative 24 as well. As long as these two numbers are same, then always we're going to have x equal to 0 value. So once we got x equal to 0 value, we can plug it in in when any of these equations to get y value. So let's go ahead and plug it in in the very first equation on the top. I am going to plug it in x equal to 0. That means this whole term is going to become 0. So that is going to give us 0 plus 12y equals to negative 1. So that means 12y equals to negative 1. I am going to divide both sides by 12. So that means y value turns out to be negative 1 over 12. Thus x equal to 0 and y equal to negative 1 over 12 is a solution to given this system of equations. And here is our next example. Once again, we are going to check certain pattern in this example. And here I have highlighted in the red these number, the coefficient of x variable as well as the coefficient of y variable. Let's go ahead and cross multiply these numbers. 3 times 4 is going to be 
12. If we cross multiply the other way around, we are going to get 12 as well. As long as these two numbers are same, then we have no solution to this system of equation. So thus, this given system of equation has no solution. And here is our last example. If we look at these two equations, what if I divide the first equation by 2 across the board by 2, 2, and 2, and how about the second equation by 3 across the board, because all these this equation is divisible by 3 across the board, the first equation is divisible by 2 across the board, then we are going to get, then both of these equations turn out to be identical, same, x plus 2, y equal to 5, both of them. As long as these two equations are same or identical then we are going to have infinitely many solutions so thus we have infinitely many solution to this given system of equations and here is your assignment can you do it on your own you can take your time luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.